Hi everyone and welcome to this video. We are going to build a fully responsive navigation with Tailwind CSS and yeah, this is how it's going to look like. So we have this mobile navbar which slides in and slides out on mobile viewports and is fully displayed on the desktop. So I hope you will like this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and enjoy the video. All right, so before we can start, we have to make sure that we have node installed for that we can run the following command node dash dash version which will then print the version um, of node if you have node installed if you don't get a version you have to install it you can do it by downloading the installer from node.js.org and yeah simply install it on your local machine and once you have done this we can start by creating our project let's create a new directory i will name this tailwind nav cd into that oops all right and here inside we now can yeah initialize our npm project with the following command this will create our package json and now we are ready to install Tailwind. So for that, we can simply follow the instructions on the Tailwind documentation. And you yeah, just copy these commands, which will add Tailwind to our project. Okay. And one more thing we need to add since, yeah, one thing is missing um, we need to add post css module otherwise we do get an error all right and now we are ready to initialize our tailwind application we can do it with this command copy that and paste it to your terminal so this command will create the tailwind config and now we are ready to open up that project in our text editor. Okay, so this is how our project structure looks like now. So we have the node modules, we have the package JSON file, and we have a, a Tailwind config file. And what we need to add here is to say where our content uh, lies. So for that, just copy this line of code here which basically says that our files are located in a source directory so let's create that and inside of it we add our index html file as well as a uh, input css file okay so for the html let's add some basic markup and here in the input CSS, we need to add the, yeah, the Tailwind components, which we can simply copy paste from the documentation page. Okay. And now all we got to do is to run the Tailwind command, which you also can copy from that page. So this command is a bit, it's quite long. We can simplify that by creating our own here in the package JSON. So let's create a new script called watch. And inside of it, we can pass paste, um, this npx command. And now all we got to do to start is run npm run watch. Okay, so this command runs a watcher, which means um the files here inside of the source directory are being watched so every time we make a change as you can see here it is rebuilding and the css here will be created inside of this directory then there will be the output css and this output css actually contains all the CSS we need or we generate from Tailwind. OK, 
Okay, and one thing we need to add in our index HTML is to link the CSS file. Okay, and now we are ready to open up the HTML in the browser, which now looks like this. Make it a little bit bigger for you. 12%. Okay. So, and now we can start to create our navbar. For that, let's create a header. And inside of it, let's create a container to give the whole thing a max width. And here, the container will contain on one side the logo. And on the other side, we pay a past. And on the other side, we create a nav bar, which contains an unordered list which then contains our links. Let's add some basic or random links here. Let's copy that a couple of times. Let's give some random names. Okay, now let's check how it is looking like. <laughs> okay. Um, what else we need is a button which will toggle our mobile navigation. So let's go ahead and create that. Inside of it, let's paste an icon, which I copy from the Hero Icons page. Here you simply can copy SVGs. All right. And I would say that's pretty much of it for our markup. Now we can start um, adding Tailwind classes to style the whole thing. So let's start by adding some color to the header. Set the background to blue and color of the text white. And now we want to start with the mobile view. Okay. So here we want to make the navigation to be fixed. So for that, let's say nav fixed. We want that it starts at the top. So set top zero, bottom zero, as well as right zero. And since we made it fixed, we also need to add a background color here. And let's maybe add a width. Okay, so this is, yeah, that's already okay, I would say. That's okay. Yeah, one thing we need to change is that we don't want to start the nav at the very top, but here where the, where the header ends. Uh, we have to, we have, I think we have to... Yeah, re rearrange that a couple of times. So let's set uh, top maybe to 10. Which should be good for now. And now we want to place these button, this button here at the right side. So that we can simply say container flex and justify the content between all right now we get this here yeah we, there's a little space in here which we can remove okay so six is good so this basically looks already good for for the mobile view what we now want to do is to style the desktop part so for the for the desktop viewport for that we are going to use the breakpoint prefixes and i'm going to use the medium breakpoint to to yeah to make the switch 
where we switch from mobile to, to desktop view. And then we can say here for nav, we say from breakpoint medium, this won't be fixed, but static. Okay. Now we don't want to have this button on the desktop view. So let's add the class MD hidden. And we want to display this list in a row so we can simply set it here and say medium breakpoint max. All right. One thing I want to change as well is the width. So we want to make it auto, auto medium breakpoint. Okay, almost. So let's add some spacing here to the to the buttons or to the links. So let's add some classes to the A tags. And say E5 is it's a little bit too big, maybe. We can say P3 maybe. Okay, now what I see is that this is not aligned in one row. So I'm gonna go and fix that. And also our container is not centered. Yeah, so for the container to center it, we can add the MX auto class as well the items and the class to align everything in one line. Perfect. So now when we switch from mobile to desktop, this already looks good. And we can start to create the animation, the slide in and slide out animation. So for that, we need to add some JavaScript, which will on click toggle a class to this navbar. So it will hide or appear. And the class which we are going to change is the right positioning of the navbar, which we set here to zero now. But initially we want to have the, the navbar outside of our viewport. So let's change it to minus right, minus full. So now the right property is set to minus 100% and we don't see it anymore. Okay, and now we need to add some JavaScript. For that, let's create a new script file. We call it script.js. Let's log something. Check if we uh, correctly get to our HTML. Down here in the HTML, let's edit with a script tag, say, text JavaScript, the source is script.js. Now in our console, say it's logging hello YouTube. So we are sure we can be sure that yeah, the JavaScript file is correctly added. Now we can start to add a event lizard to the button so that we need to add two IDs. So the first ID is here on the button. And here on the nav, we also need an ID. And then in our JavaScript, we can say, we first want to get the, the button. So let's say document, get element by ID toggle, and add an event listener. Mouse event, uh, the click, yeah, we choose the click event. And and this function will be fired and here we basically say we're going to toggle a class so yeah let's grab the the nav bar get element by id nav uh, 
class list, toggle, and here we are going to to first we want to remove this class which is right here. So let's copy that. Simply, and we also want to add another class which will be right zero. Okay. So whenever we click on uh, the button, if this class is set, it will be removed. Otherwise, if it is not set, it will be set. And the same for here, okay? So let's go ahead and test that. And as you can see, the classes are yeah switched or toggled, and we get the navbar displayed or disappearing. All right, so. We are almost done. What I want to add is the transition class to actually make the navbar slide in and slide out. Let's test that. And as you see, the animation is added and we are ready. So that's it. That's how you can easily create a mobile navigation with Tailwind in your HTML project. I hope you liked this video. If you did like, Please click the like button and hit the subscribe button and write something in the comments. I don't know. I hope to see you in the next video.